Okay, welcome to Dynamis Hub YouTube channel. So today I'm going to give you a thoughtful revision on a podcast by Apostle Joshua Selman. So, so this podcast is about the mystery and significance of water. So, so Apostle started by highlighting water deep symbolism and association with abundance in the Bible, particularly referencing Genesis 1 20 to 22. Apostle emphasizes how water, like a fertile woman, has the capability to be pregnant and give birth to various forms of life, underscoring its vital role in creation and sustenance. So, one of the things that strikes me in this message is about the power of the name of Jesus over the elements forces. So a significant portion of this podcast she's focused on how the elemental power attributed to water and other elements like fire, earth and air are surpassed by the power vested in the name of Jesus. I also also said in this podcast that believers do not need to rely on physical element for divine intervention or blessing because the name of Jesus encompasses all the authority and power needed for spiritual victory and what and sustenance. So make sure you go through this podcast. Make sure you listen to this podcast and make sure you soak in this podcast and get set for what the Lord is about to do. This water you see is a very deep mystery. Genesis 1 from verse 20 to 22 water is associated with abundance genesis 1 and god said let's read together <laughs> let the waters bring forth abundantly stop let the waters do what so the water is like a woman she can be pregnant and she can give birth to certain things abundance let the water why didn't god say let abundance come after all he said let there be light why would god instruct waters to bring forth abundance in the earth let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl of the air can you imagine these birds you see where did they come from it's in your bible 21 <laughs> some of you are wondering why did i come to church today and god created the great whales and every living creature that moved which the waters brought forth abundantly which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fall after its kind and god saw that what the waters produced was good look at me 70 percent of the earth there about is water am i right on that same with the human body no matter how healthy you are be starved of water for a while let everything still be fine in your body you will die isn't it a mystery i want you to take water and look at it in your hands and you will respect God in a new way. What is this thing called water? Now, the thing about water that is mysterious is that we found it here. Every bottle of water you are drinking, you are not the first to drink it. Hmm. Water has access to every human body. The water you are drinking today. <laughs> ah. How in the world... The bottle you are using, you are the first to use it. But the water inside is as a result of evaporation and condensation. Did they not teach you in agricultural biology and science something called the water circle? Am I right on that? Evaporation, condensation, and the process repeats itself again. My question is, who else drank it before you? Listen, you go and now ask Apostle John why he said there are three witnesses in heaven. The Spirit... The word, are we together? And what? The father. And that all these three agree. Then when it comes to the earth, it says there are three witnesses. That means, no. Let, let's, let's, just, let's just forget about that. Let me just teach you what is my curriculum to teach you this night. And then we we'll pray. The spirit, the water, and the blood. That means there is an information in what you are carrying. The Bible calls it a witness. When your body is dirty, you don't use oil. No matter what else you use, it takes water mysteriously to cleanse your body. Watch this. No matter what jam you put in water, no matter what dirt you put in water, the water is not intimidated. It can evaporate and leave the dirt there. Isn't this mysterious? That people who travel outside of space scientists will tell you they survive so long because they recycle every water there water is mysterious it cannot be stained you can never stain water with death 
you can never stain water with jams no matter what virus you put there you just allow light on that water and it will rise and leave the trouble there this is a mystery that many of you have not studied so you drink water and then your thirst is quenched am i right on that and then after a while you go and use the toilet you ease yourself and everything is gone and all of a sudden you find out that there's a deluge of water coming from the sky again i am telling you you are not the first to drink the water in fact every water in your body is older than you <laughs> it had to be older than you to be formed it had to be older than you to be born just use your mind the church is a place of intelligence are we together wow. no wonder the devil can sit down and in the villages they will program all kinds of things in water and all of a sudden you find out that people's lives become a all kinds of destructive things because of water i'm not teaching you to go and idolize water i'm just showing you that these five elements they are mysterious elements that science has not even exhausted plants depend on it men depend on it everything on earth depends on water take away water from the earth and everything fails everything dries there is something called drought the absence of water within a predefined geographic area and it causes both men and animals to die so the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high in the similitude of water isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says then the the wilderness that is bankrupt of water will be a fruitful field is that in your bible and a fruitful field will be counted for forest so the spirit of god can come in the similitude of water if i speak over your life and i say the name of jesus be blessed you are hearing it that's why you can say amen it is true sound are we together now this is very powerful when you are about to eat and you say father thank you for this food that was the combination of light the combination of the earth the combination of fire am i right on that the meal on your table what and what led to it is the same element we are talking about that's why it nourishes you what you are eating on your table is light <laughs> fire water listen you are my people and i'm teaching you something about the power of god i, I will not go somewhere and go and share that i'm teaching you because i'll still come back again to teach and clear your confusion but i am telling you if you ever see the supernatural manifest anywhere in the bible these five elements were present so i wish we had time we would have checked all these five elements in genesis chapter one in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and he says now the earth was void and formless and the spirit of god hovered around the face of the the face of the the face of the verse 2 and god said let there be you see lights there and there was light verse 4 now and he saw that the light was good and he divided the light from darkness verse 5 and the light he called day the darkness he called night the evening and the morning were the first day verse 6 and god said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters this is god created now and let it divide the waters from the waters verse 7 god made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament verse 8 it says and god called the firmament above heaven the firmament in the earth you know that one he called seas and the rest verse 9 we'll find somewhere to pray he said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place he's still talking water and dry land say earth say earth are you seeing these elements now and the dry land appeared and it was so verse 10 it says and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called sea and god saw that it was good when you read 11 you can read on and on and god said the earth that has now formed now bring forth vegetation the grass the herb yielding seed the fruit tree yielding fruit after it and you can keep on like that like that like that you keep seeing all of these manifestations every time the supernatural comes it comes through these five conduits they are mysterious elements they do not belong to the earth they were outsourced into the earth 
That's why none, none of these five things experience death. Light does not die because it is not mortal. Hmm. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Sound does not die. Is that true? The earth does not die. Fire does not die. Water does not die. All five of these elements, death has no power over them. If they were earthbound and they were mortal, there would be a way of bringing them to an end. You can't bring light to an end. You can't bring sound to an end. No, you can only stop it from walking within a room. Demon spirits know this. Back again to our herbalist people as we round up. Every time you go to a herbalist, this is the same combination you see. Earth, water, light, then words are spoken. The words is still sound. It's just that unfortunately, this is, is a satanic thing that is done to... to you, are, are we getting the point now? It is not an invention of the herbalist. It is a manipulation of the laws of God. Now, today as believers, it is not necessary to speak to sound, to speak to water. Look at me. It is not necessary to speak to light. I'm not teaching you to do that. All of the powers that were invested in those elements have today been transferred and put in a name. Listen carefully now. Are we together? So the Bible says, Wherefore? God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names. He says that at the name of Jesus, now you will know what every knee must bow. The knee is not the knee of man. The knee is the knee of things. It's in your Bible. Of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. And then it says every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. That means the power that is in the name of Jesus, watch this, the power that God put in water, the power he put in fire, the power he put in light, all of these powers have now, they reside within the office of the Christ. When God gives you the name, he's giving you dominion over water, over fire, over elemental forces. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? So you do not need to go and fetch water, or fetch fire or fetch all of these things now i know there is a place of prophetic action communion and water whatever it is i am not saying it's intrinsically wrong but i'm saying as the believer today understand when you see people use water and all of that it is not that what they are doing is not correct it is that there is a superior approach that is given to the believer now are we together that all of that has been invested in the name of jesus so I do not need to go and consult with water and say, water, you have abundance. Give it to me. That abundance is in the name of Jesus. What I would have done before to now sit down and say, water, bring me abundance. Fire, bring me abundance. Light, bring me abundance. I can say in the name of Jesus, I speak to my destiny. Open up the power in the earth that makes it to yield will make my destiny yield because it's now been invested in the name of Jesus. Are you getting that now? It's important to understand this so that you will now understand what the Bible means by saying the sun shall not smite you by day. How does the sun smite you? Who uses light to smite you? Evil spirits. But because you have the name of Jesus, you can speak and say in the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against me, whether by light, whether by water, anybody who takes your name to a herbalist, you don't also need to go and carry water or fire. Now, I'm not pleased with all due respect to the body of Christ. Every man of God is at liberty to practice whatever revelation he has. I'm not by this. Let me put a disclaimer. I'm not insulting or downplaying or demeaning. No, 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 no. I'm teaching you the truth as superior revelations from the word of God. Are we together? I have acknowledged that these are elements that were created by God. And that there is a dimension of God's power resident within them. And that they are conduits for manifesting the supernatural. But the advantage that the believer has in Christ today is this name we have been given. Now you will respect what was put in the name of Jesus. So here's what he says. Silver and gold I do not have. In other words, I can't tell you go and wash in Siloam. I can't tell you go and do this. But such as I have, give I unto you in the name of Jesus. 
the name that has that power i will not need to say wait in bethesda until the stirring of the water when the angel came in john 5 he stirred the water and whoever entered the water was healed jesus himself put sand in someone's eyes i don't need to go and start putting sand in people's eyes today to be healed are we together all i need to do is to speak over your job speak over your life provided it is in the name of jesus i release that power so when i am walking my laws learning all the laws that bring prosperity when i bring the name of jesus to those laws i empower them to produce on their own there is a dimension of god's power but now added to it i have said in the name of jesus whether you pray on the food you are eating or not it already carries health within it but now i give thanks because there is a devil there is an enemy who can also manipulate these spiritual laws listen to me believers the greatest investment you have for your victory is that name the power was invested in the name jesus went through all of these things and today we do not need to consult mediums or consult elements to get power the most superior approach for the believer is to understand the power that is in the name of jesus when i get up in the morning and i see the sun shine i know that is empowering plants and animals and all of that but listen to me even if i remain in darkness for one year i still will not die because there is a name are we together the effect of what that son would have done that name can do to me are we together now yes i do not need to go and bath seven times respectfully speaking like nama except if it comes as a prophetic instruction from god but classically as i'm speaking to you that the believer's advantage today is in the name healing in the name prosperity in the name lifting in the name speed in the name even the communion that you take is in the name the communion itself does not have any power it is the name that is invested in it that empowers it otherwise you are just taking maybe a, a drink and all of that the anointing oil that you hold it came from a plant connected to the earth connected to water connected to light the anointing oil on its own does not bring you any miracle except the name is invested on it is someone learning